Hi, I'm Whitney Palisano, the Membership Director of the Chickasha Chamber of Commerce, and I'm happy to sit down with Pat Cunningham, Director of the Grady County Museum, um, and talk a little bit about the history of the Chamber and go over some of these old guides that we have uh, dating back to the early 1900s. Trying to find the proof that something happened, and uh, there's a little teaser we'll get to in a little bit that, about something that happened with the Chamber that we had no clue up until this week when we found the photos. Very exciting. Yes. We'll skip over a few years and go to World War II. Okay. And um, during World War II, the Chamber played a tremendous role in getting the Wilson and Bonfie Flying School. Matter of fact, that was their big project and they were instrumental in getting that done. I think that probably helped the, the town be able to get the U.S. Army Board and General Hospital, and then later the POW camps that were here in 1944. Sure. Uh, we found two pictures this last week, and we got to looking, and one said, this was Bob Rose, President of the Chamber of Commerce, presiding at Board and General Presentation of Deed on March 8, 1948. And um, we didn't quite understand what was going on until we looked at this photo and it says Jess Larson and it says WAA and we did not look up what it meant but we do know that he is presenting the deed to board and, to the board and general property to Dan Proctor the president of OCW. Uh, Jess Larson during World War II was, became a two-star general but he grew up at the Larson Dairy on South 4th Street in Chickasha. He's our own two-star general. Wow. And he would, became a member of the, the administration of President Harry Truman. Wow. And so um, probably because it was such a big deal for the city, the chamber was uh, hosting the event. And uh, it was awesome to be able to have documentation for it. Well, this looks like the theater in Trout Hall. It, it is. It is, yeah. it, it is at the campus because they were getting the property, which they later transferred to the school district. And then. Um, so this belonged to the, oh, do, the, yeah. uh, the board and general prop. So this wasn't the school property at the time until after this occurred. Right. It, it, they acquired it later. Very, very cool. I, so it's exciting, or it's neat to see the uh, the, archi the familiar architecture that we recognize even today. Yeah. And it has changed very little. <laughs> it has changed very little, which is really a good right. thing. Yes. I hope you enjoyed our most recent episode of Building a Legacy of Success with the Chickasha Chamber of Commerce. I hope you remember to stop by the Chamber on Tuesday, August 1st to celebrate our 100th birthday anytime between 9 and 4 p.m. We'll see you then.